G'day guys, bit of a scary one for me today. I am making the move from Catalina to Ventura. So I haven't updated my operating system in a little while. So I thought, let's just document this. Let's see what happens. I know there's a lot of people who like to hang back like myself and wait for things to roll out and then kind of update as they go. And I've left it so long now that I've kind of got myself into a little bit of trouble because I can't get any logic updates. There's plenty of things out there that I can't download because my system is not up to date and it's kind of been driving me nuts for a little while, but I've had a lot of projects going and it's always a really hard thing to decide when is a good time to do this. And right now feels pretty good. There's a few projects in the works, but what can you do? You really have to dive in and just do this and hope that the whole thing doesn't break. So, so I've currently been using Logic 10.5.1, so pretty far back in the chain of Logic updates. And now we are going to update to Ventura and hopefully get the latest version of Logic so I can start diving into some of those features and have a bit of fun with that. So, wish me luck. I know I'm gonna hit some road bumps along the way. I'm sure I'm gonna to have to pay for like a Waves update plan or something like that. There's gonna be something. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt a little, but let's see what happens, what works, what doesn't work, what breaks. Hopefully nothing, but I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so we're on the other side of the install now and it was a long night, it was pretty stressful. The install seemed to be going all good. It did a couple of those loading progress bars with the Apple symbol on the black screen. And then I was starting to be like, what's going on with this? It's sort of done this a few times. And then it gave me a half an hour remaining. I was like, okay, sweet, we're in a, we're in a countdown now. And then when it got to the end of that, it just sat on less than one minute remaining for like an hour and a half. And so after kind of like 10, 15 minutes of that, I, I was like, oh, I'm a bit worried about this. So, you know, I jumped on Google and started looking for a bit of help. And a lot of the stuff was like, if it, get, if it hangs on less than one minute remaining, you know, hold down the power button, reboot the computer. Hopefully it does it the next time around. If it doesn't, you're basically screwed and you have to start doing all this troubleshooting. And I was like, oh man, I really don't want this to be happening right now. But anyway, I found another forum and a guy was saying how he updated his computers for work and it was hanging on the screen for ages and rather than stressing out, he just went and did a couple of other activities for a bit and left it to do its thing. And so I figured uh, let's not be hasty because I was very close to just rebooting the computer. Just when I got my Switch, just sat in the studio and played that, sort of just chilling every now and then looking up at the screen. And then it finally kicked over. And just thank goodness, I'm just so glad that I didn't stress out and just reboot the computer because that progress bar then finished. And I was like, yes, and it started going into a loop of progress bars. So it did that about like another three or four times. And again, I just sort of just let it do its thing, try not to stress over it. And then it went into another 10 minute countdown. I was like, okay, let's just let it do its 10 minutes remaining. And then after about 20 minutes of that 10 minutes, it, um, it went into another progress bar and started loading again. I was like, okay. And then it got to the end of that progress bar and there was probably like a millimeter left in it. And it just sat there for like probably another 20 minutes and so again kind of just sitting there thinking what is this doing but just kept playing the switch just you know tried to distract myself from the stress of if this computer decided to break after an install and then it finally came to the login screen it was just like thank goodness and then the next like here we go we're gonna log in and see what doesn't work and thankfully pretty much everything works as it should I had to re-download the UAD drivers to get my Apollo twin to work I only really use the Apollo twin for for plugins, DSP stuff, but even now, a lot of that stuff is in Spark and native, so I'm not using that that much that it's a big worry, but there are projects with plugins in it that I need still. My main unit, the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre-X worked fine. I didn't have to download any additional drivers coming from Catalina, so that was sweet, that all worked easy. And then launching Logic, it just had to read through all the plugins again, and literally everything worked. Even uh, all my old, old Waves 10 plugins, they're all there. So stoked about that. Everything has loaded up pretty good and pretty much so far, zero issues that I can tell. So we've got the latest version of Logic now, which is great. I like the new look, it's kind of cool. And then we've also got the little mastering plugin at the end here that we're gonna do a little check out later and see what we think about that. And yeah, whatever other features in Logic that I can find to help you guys with, I'll see if I can suss out any of that stuff. But so far, besides the, the horrific installation, it's all good. So I've gone from Catalina to Ventura and pretty seamless. I'm on a 2019 Mac, these are my specs. And if you're doing a similar thing coming from Catalina 
to Ventura. I usually don't like to go to the later system. I'd thought about jumping to Sonoma, but I'm just not sure just yet. So this is a good start and I'll check it out in a little bit and maybe update a little bit sooner than leaving it as long as last time. But I'm sure by the time I decide to move to Sonoma, there'll be a new one and whatever. Like it's always very fast pacing. So yeah, in the end, not that exciting. Didn't really have any big speed bumps getting from Catalina to Ventura. So I don't know, maybe different plugins will create different issues. But if you're using any of these plugins, you can take a look at my list. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. It's all kind of working. All the main stuff that I worry about would be like Fab Filter, making sure that Kazrog's working, Kybe Audio, Modern Metal Songwriter, Plugin Alliance, Relab, Safari Pedals, I've got Swab Digital. That's a uh, plugin I'm going to show you guys pretty soon, Gold Clip. And then Slate Digital, Sound Toys, SSL, SL Tones, all the UAD stuff, Valhalla, Waves, XLN, like all the stuff that I really care about is working fine and I haven't had any other issues showing that plugins didn't work. I had one really old plugin, like a TSE 808 um, distortion pedal plugin, and that popped up as like potential malware. So I haven't used it in a long time, so I just deleted it um, and it's, who cares? That's about it. So if you've been worrying about updating, I did it, it worked. Definitely recommend backing up. I run a time machine backup, so I wasn't really that worried that if the computer absolutely crashed and burned, I could always just do a fresh install as painful as that would be. But sometimes it's the best too, because you get a really clean slate on your Mac and then you can just load in your projects and away you go. So have a backup, do that stuff, do your due diligence before you dive in head first and then you'll be all right if there are any issues. Not the most exciting video, but if you've been thinking about making the move from Catalina to Ventura or even Sonoma, might be worth doing it now because it's getting hard to update things if you're hanging back that far. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.